Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another game review. This is actually very, very random because this game is almost two years old, but I was never able to beat it. Um, I don't know why because it's, uh, I don't know. Um, but this is going to be my review for the game. Uh, where did my Switch go? I just had it with me. Oh, there it is. Uh, this is going to be my review for Hades. Yep, this game right here. I finished the main story, so I feel like I should talk about it. I don't know why I'm reviewing this game. I, f I felt like I should because out of all the games that were on my top 10 best games of 2020 list, um, this was the only game I didn't review because I didn't beat it yet. But since I did, now... I feel like I should talk about it in case you're unaware of what this game is about. It involves a young man named Zagreus in the depths of, I suppose, like a hellish world. Um, but uh, it's run by this man known as Hades, who is Zagreus' father. And uh, things didn't go so well with him and his wife, which is also Zagreus' mom. So Zagreus tries to leave the underworld by going up against tons and tons of enemies and bosses. Uh, in this roguelike uh, hack and slash action game and you are going to die a lot um, there are times where you're going to have to perform your strategies and use specific weapons in uh, just uh, in just the right way because there are so many weapons you can use uh, the more you die in the game uh, there's an option where if you, the more you die you'll get stronger so in case you want to breeze through the game then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best way you're going to experience the whole story. Because this game is more than just a hack-and-slash roguelike game. It actually has a really strong story and tons of memorable characters. Now, let me warn you guys. Sure, this is a hack-and-slash game, but I should warn you this. It's pretty much the same thing, okay? The levels don't really change. Uh, bosses don't really change. You're basically going to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over in order for you to get to the top but even when you get to the top uh you still have to start over because this game has a lot of story but it requires you to try and beat hades over and over because that's your biggest goal is to try and beat hades multiple different times you're gonna have to like be a pro at this game if you go up against these big challenges and stuff but Despite it being mostly the same thing over and over, it's still a hell of a lot of fun. Because there are so many weapons you can use, and trying to master all of them truly takes a lot of risks, too. Like, if you want to complete a specific run um, with all the weapons, then uh, you're, you're pretty much uh, going to have to... It's going to take a lot of challenge, but uh, there are like these power-ups that you can get, which are from other characters as well. Uh, like one has lightning ability and one has like arrow ability, and it all depends like which weapon you have. Uh, the best weapon for me, in uh, my perspective, was the spear. The spear, I thought, was the most helpful. But uh, despite its combat, it actually has some really memorable and interesting characters that you can interact with with some very surprisingly well-written dialogue too like this is from indie company studios super giant games and uh this is a game that uh, might have flown under people's radar but uh i feel like is definitely gotten more of a cult following over the time of its release it um when it was released it was only available digitally but now it's available physically uh it's on ps5 xbox series s uh, the only console it was on at the time was Nintendo Switch, but even on Nintendo Switch, this is a gorgeous looking game that runs very nicely at 60 FPS. Its art style is very unique, as well as its soundtrack, and, uh, all the, everything that it has to offer is just so unique that you can certainly just forgive the fact that you're just going to be repeating the same levels over and over and over, because when you reach your goal, it's not that long. You just have to, you know, get the right stuff in order for you to progress because you have to go, once, you, once you're done with a specific area, you go to the next area, there's like two different doors, you always got to be careful uh, which uh, door you go through next because um, there are power-ups you're certainly going to need in order for you to get stronger to face up against more of uh, what's, uh, what you're going to come across like bosses and stuff. 
and enemy challenges and stuff. And there are challenges you can do and uh, permanent upgrades that you can get uh, when you go back to like your room and stuff. Because every time you die, you do have a room that you can uh, go to to like level up your, well, not really level up, like uh, boost up your powers. And yeah, but like I said before, there's so many interesting NPCs to interact with. Uh, like, uh, there's this skeleton that, uh, you can beat the hell out of, you know, for practice, which is just, just a practice dummy, and, uh, and a lot more, like, uh, the merchant, too, there's, like, a merchant you have that doesn't speak at all, it just has so many interesting NPCs to interact with, and the writing, too, is just absolutely spot on, and quite funny, too, and, uh, Zacharias himself has some really, uh, funny dialogue here and there, and the game is actually very deep, too, with its story. Despite it uh, being fairly simple, Zacharias is trying to see his mom again while trying to uh, take down Hades. But uh, the game is definitely much more deeper than that. You know, they had a past and stuff like that. And uh, I actually felt what was going on throughout my experience. So, yeah. I guess the only falter that uh, people might have with the game is that you will uh, do the same thing over and over again. But it's at a very reasonable price of 25 bucks and I think that 25 bucks is worth it I spent like 25 hours uh, trying to beat the main story but even after the main story I feel like there's more stuff you can do to get the full secret ending because there was a secret ending which is supposedly like the true ending like uh, even once you beat uh, the main story there are still you can still um you know do the same thing over and over the same levels and stuff over and over uh, like you've been doing uh, just so you can get the full secret ending. I haven't tried that yet, but I might want to. Uh, but yeah, Hades is just a game that I feel like is going to stick with me for a really long time. And uh, in terms of the death loop cycle that uh, has happened in more previous games that happened, uh, Death Loop uh, and Returnal, I think this one gets it just right in my opinion. In the end, guys, Hades, it's a game that just gets better and better the more that I think about it. And... I felt like it got better once I finished the main story. Sure, you're going to do the same thing over and over. Sure, you're going to die a lot. You're going to suck a lot. But that's because it's honestly on you because uh, you didn't uh, get the right stuff that you need. Like, health is fine and all, but there are, like, some serious power-ups that you need to get. Uh, so you can take down enemies, uh, I guess, in a better way. Or, I don't know, that's not really a good example, but... Yeah, in the end, guys, I highly recommend checking this game out. If you didn't play it back in 2020, then now is the perfect time to play it. It's such a fun game, and it's one of the best roguelike games in quite a while. It's one of the most creative, and uh, honestly, I was originally going to give it a 4.5, but I've been thinking about it. It's just got better over time, so yeah. I really don't care if I'm really late on this video. I just, honestly, I didn't, I just went back to playing it just, it's been a while since I played this game, but I went back and played it, um, I just had to beat, uh, you know, the, the area a few more times, but then I was able to beat the game, so, and I actually did feel like talking about it once I was playing the game, but I still had other games to play, but... Uh, now that we're here right now, I can say it's finally off my list for games I want to review. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I am going to be seeing Men and Downton Abbey A New Era. So, yeah, there's that as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.